Okay, hey guys, so this is the first time of me trying to record on um, my new iPhone. Um, so hopefully it goes well. Um, I'm having to kind of like balance it, so it might be kind of shaky, but I just kind of want to do a trial and error and see how this works. So uh, what y'all are looking at um, actually is a trade that I did with one of my followers on Instagram and friends, um, Ian. So um, thank you so much, Ian. And this is one of the sets that I've really been needing for a long time. <clears throat> it's like super high on my um, on my want list here. Um, and I am really excited and you know, I hope you like your trade too. Um, so without further ado, I kind of want to get started. Um, I'm gonna one hand this literally because I'm using the other to hold up this phone camera. So let me set these guys down because they'll fall over. I didn't take time to prop them up. So here we have the box, and this is the 2008 version, which uh, the 30th anniversary was the original box uh, when it originally came out, and everybody was like, well, the first Unleashed, it was just, you know, a new thing. So anyway, this is the repack for those who didn't get a chance to get it, um, which um, I greatly appreciate because I now get the chance to have this, this uh, set. So we have the art right here of the three um, and evolutions. It says Vader's Secret Apprentice, and then that's the spot for the figures on the back. We have the figures um, kind of in action poses and um, the rest in the series as well as the bio. So very cool. I love evolutions. They're very neat, I think. Um, okay, so moving on, we'll go ahead and do the first figure here. Ooh, here's his lightsaber. Let's see if I can focus that in. I was doing it earlier. Let me try this. Yeah, there we go. So here we have the uh, the um, Jedi Knight, which is one of the alternatives you could choose um, in the game. And I think he has the, a great sculpt. You can even see his hair back there. Um, looks like the one in the video game. So he's awesome. And they have a really nice mix of uh, plastic and soft goods to make his Jedi robe, which is very traditional looking of um, the original Jedi. So I think he looks super cool. I'm very excited about this. Like, yeah, if you chose the light side, you could become a Jedi. <laughs> um, and then right here is just his lightsaber, which is green. Um, and then we have Starkiller himself, which was who you played in the video game. Um, and he looks pretty cool too. Um, his face is a little bit like his cheeks are kind of gaunt or sucked in or something, which is kind of odd. Um, and his nose is Michael Jackson-y. Um, and his hairline isn't quite what it was in the video game, so I'm not sure why the um, Jedi Knight looks so much more accurate than the actual apprentice himself, but that's okay. Uh, he does have a really cool outfit. This is in here, there we go. Um, and he's he's got like torn clothing and bandages, as you can tell. Um, and he looks really cool. Um, this guy also doesn't have articulate hips, um, like the Star Killer from the Black series, which is unfortunate. But his stance is a little more natural. It's not so <clears throat> like straight. You know, his legs are kind of spread out a little bit. Um, and then I haven't even taken the rubber band off his lightsaber yet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So he's got a red lightsaber, and he looks super awesome in my opinion. So I think he's going to look really nice next to my um, star, my um, Force Unleashed 2 Star Killer. Um, and then lastly, we have the Sith Lord, which you could play in the Ultimate Sith Edition if you chose the alternate path, you know, make it line up that way. But um, he looks really cool. He's actually super pale, which is kind of funny. But um, his, look at how shredded his arm is. It's awesome. Let's see if I can. There we go. It looks really cool. And he has pieces of metal that aren't quite anatomically, uh, I don't think they do anything for him. I mean, he's got those like fingernail things and then just like one over here. But anyways, uh, he's got lightsabers from all of his victims because he's a Jedi hunter now. And again, they do mix the soft goods with the plas uh, with the regular molded plastic pieces and they look super, super great. Um, and this guy just looks really, really cool. So, um, and then lastly, we do have, um, Accessories, which I haven't taken out of the package uh, yet, but you have the lightsaber for the Sith Lord. Um, his lightsaber hilt, the lightsaber hilt for um, Star Killer, and then like little Force Lightning pieces that can go on his arms and feet. So 
anyways um thank you so much ian for this trade i really i really love these guys and i also want to give a shout out to his brother freddie um thank you guys so much for watching my channel and i really enjoy it um i, I love you know when, when people say that they like my videos it makes me happy inside so anyways stay tuned guys for more um and i'll be back shortly bye